Ella Inger, tonight we are learning more about the new locations the Tucson terror suspect was looking to attack. In day two of a bond hearing for Maine Khan, FBI agents revealed the 18-year-old man was planning to attack an L.A. fitness, the Jewish Community Center, and the Raytheon branch here in Tucson. Khan is facing multiple charges of terrorism and is being held in the Maricopa County Jail. A judge denied his request to be released. Not in your sides, Jennifer de la Cruz has been following this story. She has more on why Khan will be staying behind bars. In day two of a bond hearing for Mahin Khan, the FBI's investigation on the terror suspect continued to unfold. An agent testified in court saying they used an undercover agent to communicate with Khan over the last few months using a cell phone they had given him. Khan thought that undercover agent was a member of the Islamic State. He wanted the undercover to assist him in constructing these devices because he didn't know how to do the small electronics and did not want to blow himself up. Those devices included a pressure cooker bomb, a pipe bomb, and a Molotov cocktail. Khan revealed many of his plans with that undercover agent, sending details on his planned attacks, including links to Inspire magazine, a publication run by Al-Qaeda. He identified the pages with the pipe bomb instructions as the instructions which he intended to use to create the IEDs. Federal agents served a search warrant at Khan's Tucson home on July 1st. We did not find any guns or ammunition. We located three pressure cookers. We located a glass bottle and a sock inside a camouflage backpack in his bedroom, which looked like the precursors to a crude Molotov cocktail. Um, and we located attack plans written on handwritten notes. His targets included an MVD in Mesa, FBI offices in California, a Peter Piper Pizza, an LA Fitness, Raytheon, an Air Force Recruitment Center, and the Jewish Community Center in Tucson. According to agents, Khan said if his parents tried to stop him, he would kill them. Although they've been following Khan since 2013, the FBI waited until he turned 18 to arrest him. Because as an adult, Mr. Khan had greater capability to carry out the attacks which he had been planning. Agents also revealed Khan had bipolar tendencies and did spend some time getting treatment. The judge ruled today that Khan could not be released from jail because he poses a substantial threat to the community. Khan is being held in segregated housing without bond. He's due back in court in September. Back to you guys.